Once the gear daddies would dream vacation in the Dells, it's like a Midwest anthem. <laughs> All right, it's distance learning with Philly. Four days left to go until it's summer. Today, I want to talk about embracing your reality because remember you are good enough that song dream vacation in the dells it talks about nothing special just you know average everyday midwesterners going to the dream vacation at the wisconsin dells all right they say our lives ain't that stuff of dreams but one full week, we can live like kings and queens. I want you to be satisfied with who you are and embrace your reality. Yeah, you say I'm just a school kid from Wabin. Well, guess what? Your reality is the most important thing right now. Some would wax to Carpe Diem, seize the day, and I wholeheartedly embrace that. Seize the day in who you are and be the best and embrace your own reality, okay? Now, our joke of the day, red skies at night, sailor's delight. Blue skies at night, day. Quote of the day comes from Charles Kuralt, who made a living for many years on CBS News. At the end of the TV news, he would go and interview the common everyday person and find out what their story is. And there was always something interesting, and these people were nothing special from the outside, but we found out when we met them that they were special. Now, the quote is, everybody has a story, and nobody's is better than anyone else's. The problem is only some people's stories get told. Today I'm going to tell the story of my friend Kurt. Kurt passed away when he was 25 years old in an accident. But you know what? All I have is great memories now. I come to this place because it reeks of Kurt and things that he did that made memories his story. Down there is Kurt's Bridge, a place we used to come quite a bit. We name it after him. Down here is the Cooney Trail where some kids, like Kurt, Pete, and Nick, got Nick's car so beached in the mud that we couldn't get it out. And someone had to suck up mud and put it into the key so we could open the door. That was me. But here's a story about Kurt. I have so many wonderful things. I don't pine that he was still alive anymore. I did for a little bit. But I have all these great stories about Kurt. What he did what he did for me, what he did for other people. Now, Kurt was a goofball. Kurt would fall over when he walked. That guy loved people. He would give himself fully to anybody, no question. He appreciated their story and their reality. Now, Kurt was kind of an athlete, and he was best known for this. Those were Kurt's pictures in the paper. The even the people at the paper understood Kurt and the goofball he was, and they would always put him on the front page of the sports section in an incredibly uncomfortable position. They embraced him. I'd like to say I miss Kurt, but I don't because I have the memories. And I cherish them. He was a great guy. And he lived a full life. It was short. But he embraced who he was. He seized the day every single day. I will end with two stories about Kurt. One is when he fell down the steps of my aunt's apartment and tumbled down and got up, I'm okay! And my aunt said, a phrase that coins Kurt's reality, your friend has no class but much style. Kurt went out like a hero. Kurt was in a car accident. He got out of his car and he saved that, that car. And as he got back in his, he got hit and that was the end of Kurt. But he saved people. That was the last act he did. I say the beauty of that is the last thing that Kurt ever did was completely selfless. Like Kurt, you are good enough. We'll be back tomorrow on Wednesday. Again, Living little gear daddy's getting us out of here. Guys, kids get out of here. We'll be good. Leave behind our troubles for a week. Yeah, we'll borrow the pop from Venice and ski just to the boss. I got to leave you the best week of our lives, I can tell. She got free vacation in the dip. Yeah, you'll see the robot world and the water show. Go anywhere you want to go. Circus World Museum in Baraboo. We'll play mini golf with the jelly stone. We'll finally see that house of home. And if the kids want to buy a t shirt, what the hell? Yes, I dream vacation in the dust.